Good morning. Today is Hard Rock check-in day. I am waiting for Nick to arrive into town. We're gonna check in together. But we are staffing the booth here in the gym and people are starting to fill in actually quite a bit. So it sounds like Anthony might jump in and pace me. Yeah, we'll help at Growls and do the long stretch over to Cunningham, it sounds like. And the sports. They've moved to the aid station. Did you know about that? So, why don't I know about that? I don't know. It was actually, it was not very well publicized. It's, it's two miles up the road. So they, oh, so you now have to run be, uh, because of the It's bathrooms. a little bit, a little That's bit below awesome. Animus, but yeah. you have to run through Animus Forks now. Oh, the fun. course is like 102 miles. Yeah, I think Nick's supposed to be here around 10 o'clock in an hour. So we will be uh, checking in then. And we also have to set up a tent for the beer garden. And then the runner briefing will be at 11. We have the kids run at one. Drop bags are due at three. So it's gonna be a quick day, I think. We'll be getting going tomorrow at 6 a.m. Beautiful day out here in Silverton. It may not last. They're expecting a lot of rain to come in. That's what we keep saying. They did a great job with this uh, whole finish line. Nick just arrived, so we're gonna go do our check-in now. Uh, make sure we claim our spots. I guess there's five people that haven't checked in, including us. All right, ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So they can fill out their waiver after the Nice shirt. Incredible. 2001. Yeah, man. The DNFs. Dude, <laughs> dude, the Arizona people are so amazing. That was so awesome. <laughs> in the armpit. That's like totally a Linda Van thing. Uh -huh, yeah. And then yeah. the finishers are yeah. on the back. The back so. We gotta, we gotta bring that little, to one of our races. Cost a little more money because you gotta mail them out afterwards. But I think it's worth it's it. Totally cool. That is so cool. Yeah. I love it. Awesome. Like, Thanks for all the goodies. Yep. So here we are. Look at this. With 22 minutes, we have no drama left because everybody has checked in. So we are good to go. Should I have waited longer? You should have waited longer for dramatic effect. <laughs> yeah. Nick should have waited a little bit. Coming around yeah. the block. Yeah. And 30 seconds left. Yeah, there you go. All right, it's 11 o'clock. We're breaking down. They're going to have the runner briefing in the gym here in an hour. So we're going to take all our products, put all that away, and move on to the next part of it. Last year, I decided to start to want to give back. and. Uh, photograph the race. I had a, a plan to do a book. Uh, I thought I could do it in two years, but it's probably going to take like half a decade. Because, you know, you, you get around this, the family, the race, the mountains. There's so many stories, there's so many memories you have. And when I was out on Green Mountain early in that morning, you kind of learned real quick, wow, it's, it's going to be really, really hard to try to capture a feeling and the first day was pretty rough and I was kind of you know I wasn't sure what how it was gonna work out and um, I kind of slept at night because I was kind of bummed out and Lois McKenzie uh, who used to be a station coordinator and Robert Andrews were like Howie you can't DNF shooting hard rock <laughs> <laughs> so I was like well you're right. And it was like 7 in the morning, and I said, where should I go? Well, where do you go but the spiritual epicenter of Hard Rock? Grand Swamp Pass. The iconic climb in the counterclockwise direction. To see everybody come crawling up. And right off the bat of hiking up, there's lightning and stuff, so it was true Hard Rock fashion. And you start running across a lot of your old friends. And, and you get the right feeling. So I sat up there all day with Robert and my dog Mishka, and we cheered on runners, and I ran up and down that slope so many times. And at the end of the day, <coughs> if I got one image that turned out to be the cover of Ultra Running Magazine, for September, October last year. And the true hard rocker uh, 
who is going for his 10th finish at 70 years old. Scotty Mills. date here. Um, this is the afternoon before the race. It is 2.30. Drop bags are due here in 30 minutes. I've got my one drop bag right here. I got through it real quick for you. I've got a long sleeve, one Red Bull, a short sleeve shirt change, and cold brew coffee. I've got some uh, electrolyte tabs, the salt stick ones, uh, squirrels nut butter. Got some nutrition, and then a couple spare battery packs for my light in case it's still dark and I need to swap those out. Uh, change of socks. I think that's it. Alright, and as for the rest of my stuff, I have it all laid out now. Got everything I'm starting with. This is uh, Telluride, Ure, uh, Animus Forks. My drop bag was there for Sherman, and then Cunningham. So I've got uh, lights, nutrition, extra layers. So depending on if I'm feeling okay with what I've got on, I'll just disregard the clothing. Probably two pairs of shoes in my crew bag. They can pull from it if I need to change them. That's about it. So it's gonna be time to make my nutrition. Um, Making some mashed potato burritos for tomorrow, and I'm gonna be getting some food and then getting to sleep. So, I'm gonna take this down to the Legion building for my drop bag, get that dropped off. All right, walking my drop bag down to the Legion building here, which is just a block away. And we got some rain here in Silverton finally. Pretty dark afternoon. Please label your drop bag with bib number, name, and aid station. Boom. Got a drop bag? Yes, I do. Which one do you have? Sherman. You got it labeled? With, yep, looks like it. Uh, yeah, that's Sherman. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Have a good race. Thanks. That's that? I think that's it. Yeah. Just drop one bag off. What are you doing? All right, it is 7 p.m. I'm off to bed. We've got my kit for the morning laid out. And uh, I guess we'll see you out there on the course. Bye.